I really struggled this morning to get out of bed. I really wanted to come out for the for a day shoot, but conditions weren't exactly what I wanted. And it's a bit overcast today, so with that in mind, I've uh, decided to come into forest. I was going to go look for a waterfall, but I'll save that for another day. And when conditions are like this, overcast and the light is more subdued. I prefer to come into woodland as there's no harsh shadows or anything like that, no blown out highlights to contend with. We've just got nice, soft, natural light and it's much easier in woodland to get a nice, soft feeling. So I'm down in a woodland in the North York Moors. Uh, not really explored this woodland much, so it's a bit of a, a recon mission, shall we say. Um, so I'm just looking around now. Uh, there's plenty of, plenty of green. So I'm going to head off into the woodlands now and see what we can find. This should be interesting. Anyway, if I don't get a shot, never mind, at least I've had a good walk, dog's had a good walk. Right, let's get on. Trust you, yes. You got your stick? Hmm? First composition. I uh, found a lovely dead tree that's completely bleached out and it's completely different to the rest of the trees that are in this woodland. The woodland's quite dark and the bleached out bark really contrast well, well with the rest of the uh, with, with the rest of the forest um, yeah it really did catch my eye so I'm using two trees to frame the composition the main subject in the center of the um, the frame I'm using a 2470 sorry I'm just watching my dog <laughs> I've got to keep an eye on her uh, yeah I'm using a 2470 a polarizer shooting at f11 uh, it's about two seconds. It's that dark in, in here. Then I'm getting some nice light on the tree, uh, the main subject, because it's in the opening of the canopy of the trees. The light is coming down and really giving a lot of contrast just in that, that particular area. So um, I really think this is going to work well once I get it home in post uh, and bring out the details. So I'm going to get the shot and I'll post it now and see what you think. And then I'm going to carry on and on this walk and see what else I can find. Okay, um, that didn't go according to plan. Uh, I wanted to carry on the walk but unfortunately I had to go home so I didn't really want to leave this video short 
So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd go through the steps that I went through in Lightroom to get this final image. Um, so without further ado, what I'll do, I'll take you into Lightroom now and I'll show you the steps I've taken to produce this final result. Okay, right we're now in the develop module and I'm going to select the two shots and right click and photo merge into HDR. The two images obviously are going to come into the HDR module or whatever you want to call it. Right, auto click, I always have auto click aligned. Um, auto settings, I don't use them because I'm obviously going to do my own settings. We no wind in the uh, in the forest that particular day, so there's no um, deghosting needed, so that's none. Right, we'll click merge and then wait for them to render back into Lightroom. Uh, just be a few minutes, a few minutes, hopefully just a few seconds. Right, here we go. Okie dokies. Right, first things first. Um, right, the temperature. Right, what have we got here? Oops. Right, I'll reduce, put some blue, taking the warmth out of it down to about 4000, something like that. The tint, about plus 30. Something like that. Uh, the exposure, uh, reduce the exposure. Um, oh, sorry, I added a bit of exposure, about three quarters of a stop, something around there. Right, I didn't bother with contrast, I've not put any contrast in it because I'll come to contrast in the tone curve. Um, highlights. Now, as the real focus of attention was on the tree. Normally what I do in most of the images is actually pull down the highlights but as you can see it reduces the highlights on the tree so what I actually did in this instance is I actually added some highlights not too much, maybe about 30 something like that and just to make sure I don't want actually blowing out the highlights if you press down the alt key and click on the slider with your left mouse button um, you can see if if you increase the highlights you can see where the highlights are going to blow out so I took it to about plus 30 something like that um, shadows was about I just increased the shadows ever so slightly not too much because there's um, the shadows are probably going to, we can see what's in the shadows anyway with it being in HDR. Um, the whites, now the whites again I increased those to about plus 40. That really starts bringing out the emphasis on the tree. Um, blacks, I reduced the blacks which obviously then going to add a bit of contrast. I'm coming down to about 60 on those. Yeah, that's looking something like. Now clarity, I don't really bother with clarity. I don't like clarity in image. I think it makes it look a little bit too aggressive. And to be honest, looking at the image, I didn't really want all this foliage in the background to really distract. So I just reduced the clarity slightly to about twenty, something like that. Um, that just softens the image of us slightly, I mean the, the tree is going to be sharp enough anyway for what, uh, for what I want, certainly plenty of detail there. Um, vibrance, knock the vibrance up to about 30 on this one, um, saturation just bang a, put a little bit of saturation in, uh, about 10. Now the tone curve, um, all I did there was just pull down on the shadows slightly and increase the highlights that just gives 
some nice contrast to the image. Um, next thing is remove chromatic aberration. Do that on every single image and enable profile correction, which gets gets rid of any lens distortion. Um, then um, cam profile. Um, once I've clicked through each individual one and found that Faithful gave me the best results, the landscape just puts too many, too much green in for me. With mean, this particular image, anyway, um, neutral was quite, quite okay. Uh, camera standard and Adobe standard and camera um, faithful, which is the profile which I preferred. Um, that's about it, apart from cropping. Oh, and obviously some local adjustment brushes that I've used as well. Uh, but first we'll uh, just crop the image. I opted for a 5x4. And then just adjust it. And this tree here, and just actually crop that tree out because I thought that would have been a bit of a distraction. And obviously I'm using these two trees here to, to frame the actual trees. So I'm just holding a little bit. It's about there, and it's obviously the main subject. Then becomes the centre of the centre of attention. Um, obviously, <laughs> we all go about rules of thirds and things like that. But this particular image, um, because it's framed here, and um, two, with the two trees framing the actual tree in question. I think it works quite well. It's um, yeah, yeah. I think it works well anyway. So that's that's the cropping done. Right now, for some local a brush, uh, local adjustment. Well, um, first of all, I think yeah, I put a gradient filler in the bottom just to reduce this brightness in the, the brightness in this area, and that was about that down to about there and then I put a gradient filter in the top about yeah, it's because I just wanted to draw the eye in the darker areas here I wanted to draw the eye viewers eye straight into the center of the center of the image um, I then just wanted to lift a little bit of uh, Lift some exposure on these trees. Oh, actually, what I did, what I need to do, I just remembered, and just reset that. I used a radial filter in the centre of the image. Take it to about there, put on about the centre. Uh, make sure invert isn't ticked, and then I just reduced the exposure to the outside of the frame. That puts emphasis on the tree. It's about there. Yeah, about there. Um, but then obviously there's just a, the exposure on the two trees is a little bit too dark. So I'll then use a, an adjustment brush. Just make sure everything's set. And then I just put a little bit of exposure about Let's try there, roughly there. Auto mask is not set. Then I just put a little bit of exposure back onto the onto the tree. This one as well. Just just to bring those details back in. That's about right. Something like that. Uh, and then I just add a little bit of exposure around this area here just a bit of dodging and burning sort of thing around that area um, well then what I wanted to do I thought these areas here this here, area here a little bit in here I just wanted to reduce a little bit of exposure there so if we click new brush 
put about my half a stop of negative exposure in and just just reduce those highlights in that area there um, around here it's only subtle but I think it makes a difference it's all subjective anyway so yeah and that's about it that's the final result um, and the next thing then I just opened up in uh, Color Effects Pro 4 just to frame the image which finishes the image off nicely just wait for it to open up in Color Effects Pro 4 and if you didn't know that it's actually Nick Collection which is totally free now it's free to download through Google and it's quite a um, well it's an excellent program I use it a lot certainly for my framing um, yeah you just need to go to image borders I choose type 14 uh, you've got adjustments here that you can adjust the size of the border uh, nice slim border is what I like um, and that's basically it and just get, click save I should bring it back into Lightroom with the border there you go finished yeah so that's uh, that's the finished article right well do I hope you enjoyed that insight into how I actually process that particular image and I say normally in an image I'd be uh, reducing the highlights but in that particular image I had to increase the highlights to put attention on on the tree so yeah it's a little bit different to what I'd normally do uh, quite like the image myself um, it's a little bit different to the norm I say I enjoy photographing in woodlands and stuff like that um, but yeah I'd be interested to hear if you'd processed it in a different way or you know taking it a different way I don't know but that's the way I did it and I, I couldn't say quite pleased with the results so yeah I hope somebody can take something away from this video um, so I'll be doing another one soon um, hopefully I'll be in the lakes very very shortly and I hope to get be doing another vlog up there so if you want to see any more videos such as the, the ones that I'm doing please subscribe to my channel uh, and even tick the bell and then you'll get a notification when I put up another video so with that in mind I'm going to get off now and I've uh, got a little bit to do and I will see you in the next video so bye for now